guys, welcome back to Empower In. I'm Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for, again for watching. Um, so today I'm responding to a video request from Miss A. Lewis 2. That's your YouTube name. Um, and the question was, could you please do a video about how you organize your day slash what a typical day on the job is like? Thanks. Love your videos. I love you. And thank you for your video request. Um, so I thought about it and what I do starting from walking into the hospital is while I'm walking in, I listen to music that kind of lifts my spirits. And while I'm listening to the music, I listen to the words. Um, I actually create my own little audios. I'm going to do it for you guys, too. I'm going to create some audios for you guys. I'll let you know when I do it in the future. Um, it's the same ones that I kind of use, but I want them to be a little bit better quality for you. Um, but what I'm focusing on while I'm listening to this music is how I want my day to go, how I want to feel throughout the day, how I want to connect with my patients, how I want to connect with my coworkers, And um, it really helps a lot. And it helps you kind of center in before all the craziness starts, because it is pretty crazy. <laughs> so once I get to work, I get my assignments, I log into the computer, and I add my patients. Hopefully, ideally, I at this time am able to look at my patients' labs and vital signs, the last vital signs that were taken and then get report. However, sometimes if the nurse that worked prior to me really wants to give report right away, I really try to respect that because they've been there for 12 plus hours, so I want them to be able to go home and get the rest they need. So um, sometimes I have to get my report first and then finish looking at the last labs and vital signs and vice versa. Um, report is usually done in the room so we can see the patients. And guys, if if the nurse doesn't want to give a report in the room, it is, I don't, I think it's a Jayco thing, I'm not sure, but really you should be doing a report in the room. And it's really a good thing because while you're doing that, you can actually see the patient and, and the nurse can tell you whether this is normal or abnormal for this patient. So it really is the safest thing to do and it does help you out throughout the day. So um, after report, I get started. Um, I basically log back into the computer and if I haven't already finished, I again look at the vital signs and meds, sorry, vital signs and labs, and then I look at the medications that are due. So on my favorite days, um, I don't have any medications due until the uh, normal medication time, which is like um, 9 or 10, depending on what your hospital uh, schedules them at. Um, so when it's, when, when it's like that, that's awesome. And if not, though, sometimes um, patients need insulin, which has to be given with breakfast, which is about 8 o'clock, or they might have 8 o'clock meds. So if they have 8 o'clock meds or they need insulin, I do those first, and then I get my assessments started. Um, the assessments, I always start with the, I guess, most difficult. If, and what I mean by most difficult is if you have somebody that has multiple abnormalities, like let's say they have wounds, um, let's say they have, um, mm, like their skin is impaired, or just you know somebody that, you know, is not a healthy 20 or 20 or 40 year old, you know, that's walking around the room. Um, I try to do this first. It makes me feel happy when I get the hardest thing out of the way. And so I do my assessment, and right there in the room, I document right there. And I have I have kind of insisted upon that ever since I was a new graduate to just do my assessment and document it. It just clears it from your head. I honestly do not know how people don't do that. I see people do all of their assessments and then document later. I don't know. It's just not my thing. I don't know how they remember everything. So anyways, I do my assessment and document right there. Um, depending on how my time management is going that day, um, I sometimes I'm able to finish all of my document, all of my assessments first before, you know, nine o'clock when I start getting the morning medications. But sometimes I have to like stop, and then what I do is start my morning medications. So like let's say like some mornings I can only do four assessments, and then I start my medications, and then after I do all the medications, then I'll finish those last two assessments. Um, keep in mind you do have the the entire shift to document that assessment, so it's not critical that it gets done right then. Um, so at about 11 a.m. I usually am done with my assessments and um, medications and it's breakfast time. And what I mean by breakfast time is I usually take about 10-15 minutes 
and eat my um, avocado and eggs, which doesn't take that long, and then I'm right back out there. So, um, after this time, it, the day kind of varies a little bit, well actually a lot. Um, you might have discharges, after discharges, you might have admissions, um, anything can happen, you know, between those times. Um, but I do find around 2 or 3 o'clock, I um, do usually eat lunch. And um, I wait till that time, honestly, because of a few reasons. First reason is probably because I'm not hungry, because I just ate breakfast at 11. Um, the second thing is, too, I want to make sure, sometimes you have to make sure all your patients are fed and, you know, stuff like that before you can eat. So because I eat a late breakfast, I'm usually pretty good. Um, the rest of the day is just giving any medications that are due and always making sure that you're rounding on your patients. Making sure like you have like a set time, like I try to round on the even hours um, because otherwise in the afternoon you might forget. You know, if the patient's really quiet, you just might forget about them. So just if you make sure that every like two hours you're going in there, then you know, you'll remember. Um, so another thing that I wanted to share that really helps me organize my day is sticky notes. I put anything really important in sticky notes and I plaster them on this folder that I carry around, which I forgot to bring. But anyways, um, like for example, if I need to page a doctor, I'm sure you probably can't read this, but if I have to page a doctor, I religiously make my sticky note first. And it doesn't really matter how busy I am, because if I call a doctor unprepared, then it's going to be more chaotic than, you know, anything. So, I write my patient's name, I write their room number, I write the problem, I write their last labs and vital signs, because they probably will ask you what they were, and then the doctor's name and phone number. Over here I write a little square, and I write the time that I call them, and um, the time is really important because most likely, and you know, depending on where you work, a lot of times you won't get a call back on your first call, so you just call the um, doctor's office or the answering service again and say, you know, I called 20 minutes ago at this time, and I didn't receive a call back, I, you know, you need to let them know this is my second call at this time. And, you know, if, if you say it like that, they usually, usually get a call back pretty quickly. Um, so sticky notes are my friend. I use them all the time. And they really help me organize my day. So if you can notice that in the, in the mornings, there's a lot of structure. But then in the rest of the day really can take a number of different, you know, ways. You might have a lot of discharges. You might have no discharges. Um, and you might have a lot of admissions. You might have no admissions. So... What I really like about the, um, the the daily routine, and this is on the floor, mind you, is that there is so much structure, and I do like that. But if you were to go to like an emergency department, which I float down there sometimes, and it's just totally, like, it's just, for me, it's so chaotic. Um, some people like that, though, and it's probably just, you know, whatever you're used to. But um, I do, I think, like the structure of the floor. I find it very comforting. Um, but anyways, everyone has their things. So anyways, I really hope this helped. Um, if you need any more clarification, just let me know. I'm so happy to email you guys anytime. Um, my email address is empower.rn at gmail.com. Um, please leave any comments or, you know, video requests below. I'm working on them one by one. I'm so happy that, you know, you guys are making these requests. It really is fun for me. And anyways, I look forward to hearing from you again in the future. Alright, love you guys. Bye.